Hi, my uh, Gemini witches. Welcome to the Witch's Craft. I'm your host, Moon Mistress. So I have your guys' a special reading for Witch's New Year. Um, so it's the Witch's Samhain spread. Happy New Year. Um, I do have the spread posted behind me, but if you guys want to actually check it out up close, you can go to uh, my Facebook or Instagram um, at the Witch's Craft, okay? So um, let's start with what needs to be banished uh, for your guys' life this year, okay? From now until next Halloween. So we have the Knight of Cups. Paired with the Devil and the Ten of Swords. So for some of you, your uh, feelings or memories that are attached to um, past relationships or your close one-on-one -on -one relationships this year need to be banished, okay? These are relationships where people are making false offers to you. Um, they might seem like Prince Charming and they're really not, okay? Um, for others of you, this is relationships or friendships that keep you bound uh, by something here, okay? All of that needs to be banished. Also, don't be making any false... Um, I'm not trying to accuse you of it, Gemini, but... Okay, especially for cross-watchers watching you. Um, don't be making any false promises of love either, okay? Now... The other thing to banish here is for you guys making love offers to toxic people, friends, and situations here, okay? All of that needs to go. For some of you, this bondage includes addiction such as alcohol, um, abuse, okay, negative thinking, um, or any situations that you're harboring resentments for. Um, which include being stabbed in the back here, okay, um, or betrayals that have happened to you. You guys need to let that go this year. In terms of your crossroads, so things that need to change for you this year, we have the Magician. Now, a lot of readers do consider the Magician to be one of Gemini's cards. So what this looks like for you guys in terms of what needs to change is um, you guys um need to start manifesting the positive things that you want in your life okay whether it's love finances etc you guys have a really good manifesting power right now okay so you guys should be able to look at the tools that you have in front of you use the tools that are in front of you and use them to your advantage here again without being manipulative yourself a lot of you need to come out of uh, feeling some kind of sadness, loss, regret, remorse. And using your manifesting, your positive thinking, your positive affirmations are going to help you here. In terms of your seance, okay, so your message from your ancestors. For some of you, we do have a female figure who is coming through. This person could be a witch themselves. Um, they can also be a very intuitive person. Now, this would be somebody who's deceased already, okay? Sorry, yeah, I've been getting leg cramps. Uh, I'm pretty sure from this pregnancy, so this baby just needs to hurry up here. But anyway, um, so this would be a person who's already deceased coming through, trying to guide you, trying to help you here. Okay, this could be a fire sign female, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could even be a Piscean person. Okay, but whether this is somebody coming through or not for you, the message is the same here. And what your ancestors are trying to tell you is that there's going to be growth and expansion for you um, in some kind of positive manner, okay? So um, this is your guys' confidence increasing. This is expansion in your close partnerships increasing. For those of you who are already coupled and happy, uh, Gemini, this could indicate that there might be a pregnancy, okay? Or your family will expand or your your home will get bigger, okay? Um, so we do see uh, growth here coming in for you guys. Overall, the Queen of Wands is a really positive omen to be getting. This means good things, positive things are coming in for you guys. 
Okay, with the Fool card here, we also see some indication that your ancestors are trying to tell you to uh, take this leap of faith. You guys have the green light. You got the go ahead, okay? Um, for others of you, there's some indication of moving here or traveling or taking that leap of faith in something that you've wanted to pursue. For some of you, that's a job, okay? You guys have a really, really good reading here, Gemini. Probably one of the best readings so far. Okay, so what's your guys' uh, magical power in this next year? Well, we have the Page of Pentacles. So this is you guys actually putting some effort in, uh, taking action here, and building something stable. Now, you might have to start off slow here, okay, to build up your foundation to be where you want it to be. But this shows that you guys, no matter what the situation, if it's been a difficult situation for you to get through, or you, you're facing difficulties, you're going to be able to remain grounded through these problems and situations, and you're going to be able to continue to grow here. Okay, with the Sun card, we do see, again, some happy news coming in for you guys. If you guys are able to focus on the positive, do your positive spell work, your positive affirmations, okay? Uh, we're going to see a lot of growth for you guys here. For those of you that have been indecisive at all about should I make this move, should I take this job, um, again, there is some kind of decision uh, that will be made here and it will improve your guys' uh, growth, okay? Now, with the Sun card coming in, again, we see clarity coming in. We see positive news coming in. Um, a Leo could be significant as well for some of you, okay? And we also see, uh, again, some expansion here, some growth here. For some of you, again, this is that pregnancy, okay? In terms of your love spell, so what can you expect in your love life this year? Okay, we get the Queen of Swords. Now, this could be you, Gemini. This is an air sign like yourself, okay? Um, or this could be saying that another air sign is going to be significant here, or somebody who portrays um, the characteristics of the Queen of Swords, okay? So this is somebody logical. Uh, this is somebody who doesn't get overly emotional about things, okay? Um, I feel for a lot of you, Geminis, this is you. But this is you guys being very logical in terms of your love life here, whether you're coupled or not. This is you going, okay, this is what I want. This is what I don't want. This is the way it's going to have to be in order for me to uh, continue on in this relationship or for me to get into a partnership. I want things to be this way, okay? And this is coming after a period of reflection for you guys. So a lot of you are assessing things in your love life this year. What has worked for you? What hasn't? Um, where have you gained wisdom, basically, um, in order to move forward here? For some of you, this is you guys becoming decisive about a, a Virgo or a Cancerian person, okay? For some of you, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Now, sometimes this is the single person's energy. If you are single, you might continue to um, be single for a bit so that you can remain dependent on yourself so that nobody is becoming codependent on you, okay? And this is for you guys to enjoy your time alone, for you to uh, learn the wisdom that you need to learn moving forward so you can discover what it is you want, okay? Some of you guys are gonna be taking care of yourselves um, whether you're in a relationship or not this year, okay? Yeah, okay. Um, and we also have the Wheel of Fortune. So again, this is, I don't know why I'm saying again because I didn't mention it before, but uh, this is things turning in your favor, uh, Gemini, this year. Okay, this is letting go of things that aren't serving you. This is cycles closing out and new cycles beginning here. Okay, so we do see this kind of completion happening in your love life. The Ten of Cups is further indicating some kind of completion here. Okay, within the home or uh, within your love life, okay? Especially for those of you that have been through some 
difficult situations in terms of your love relationships or close partnerships here. Okay, this is you guys finally closing chapters that don't have a place in your life anymore. For some of you, you may be moving out of the family home. Uh, you and your partner may be getting a new home, okay? Um, and for others of you, this is an indication of new love coming in um, or an expansion of your already existing relationship. Okay, and what is your uh, best events coming in for this year? Well, we have the Page of Wands. So again, this is new beginnings here. This is new passionate starts, new creative ventures. Um, for some of you, this is the starting of a new relationship, okay? That's going to be passionate. For others of you, this is starting... I think I just said relationship, right? Hopefully. Not that you can answer back right now. Um, but yes, uh, new relationships. And for some of you, this is new businesses, okay? New um, ideas that you're coming up with. For some of you, this is an indication of uh, moving here, okay? And for others of you, again, there could be some something about a child. Don't want to keep saying it, but some of you might hear some news about a child coming through. Okay, and we also see the world card here. So for some of you, there's an opportunity to travel as well. But with the world card, again, just like the Wheel of Fortune, we see things turning in your favor, chapters closing out and new ones beginning. Um, this could also be an indication of moving as well, okay? And this is all going to depend on your guys' ability to manifest the positive things that you want while banishing things that aren't serving you, okay? Including toxic relationships, um, people, places, things, etc. Okay, Gemini, I hope that resonated. And if you want to see your general and love horoscope, uh, just go to my other channel, The Oracle Divine, um, and your monthly horoscopes will be there within the next couple days. I haven't really gotten to those ones yet. I've, I have other uh, clients that I have to do readings for in between all these other readings. So, um, yeah, I hope to see you over there, Gemini. Blessed be. Happy Witches New Year. Bye.